Hello everyone. In this short video, I will be demonstrating how to set up SSL termination using HAProxy. I'll explain why it's a good idea to do that within your load balancer rather than from your web or application servers. Then I'll show a few extra settings that will help you fine tune your SSL termination. So to get started, what is SSL termination, which is also known as SSL offloading? In essence, it allows you to take the job of encrypting and decrypting traffic away from your web servers and place it on the shoulders of HAProxy. Now this is helpful because it lets your web servers do less work. It also allows you to store your SSL or TLS certificates in fewer places, such as only on your load balancer, rather than having to install them onto each individual web server. HAProxy also gives you some configuration options that your web server may not have, such as the ability to restrict the version of SSL that you use and which ciphers you will prefer when communicating with a client. Of course, you also have the option of decrypting the traffic as it comes into HAProxy and then encrypting it again as it goes out the other side towards your web servers. So what are the requirements that you need to do this? You'll need HAProxy 1.5 or later, which was released in 2016. You'll also need a valid SSL or TLS certificate. Let's say that you have a website where you want to add HTTPS. Here I've created one and I'm calling it test.com. Now this website isn't much to look at, it's currently only showing the request headers as the web server receives them, but it's good enough to show how to set up SSL termination. In my HAProxy configuration file, you can see that in my front end, I have a bind line where I'm binding to port 80. To add SSL termination, I only need to add another bind line where I bind to port 443. I'll then add an SSL parameter to enable SSL termination. Next, I'll add a CRT parameter that should point to the certificate that I have on disk. Now, typically when you get a certificate from a vendor, they'll give you two files, a public certificate and a private key. You'll want to combine those two files into a single PEM formatted file. For this example, I've created a self-signed certificate and I've combined the private key and the public certificate into a single PEM file. Now, once you've done that, Update your CRT parameter to point to where you have that certificate on disk. So here, I'll set it to etsy slash haproxly slash certs slash test.com pen. After you've made your changes, go ahead and reload haproxy. You should now be able to go back to your website and access it over HTTPS. Something else that you might want to do is to redirect any users who try to access the non-secure version of your site to redirect them to the secure version. To do that, you only need to add another line. HTTP request redirect scheme HTTPS unless SSL underscore FC. The SSL underscore FC fetch method checks whether the client connected using SSL. Here, I'm saying that unless they did that, I want to redirect them to HTTPS. So let's try it out. Save that and then reload HAProxy. Now I'll go back to my website and try to access the site over regular HTTP. And as you can see, it redirects automatically to HTTPS. You can also restrict which versions of SSL that you'll support. Add the no-ssl v3 or no-tls v10, etc. to disable specific versions of SSL or TLS. You can accomplish the same thing by adding an ssl-min-ver with the name of a, T of a SSL or TLS version such as TLS v1.1 to say that you only support TLS version 1.1 or newer. You can also restrict which uh, SSL ciphers that you'll support. For this, I like to look at a site called the Mozilla SSL Configuration Generator. Here, you can select HAProxy 
and then decide whether you want to support modern, intermediate, or old browsers. As you can see, you would add to your global section an SSL defi de default bind ciphers line to say which ciphers you'd like to support. You can accomplish the same thing by adding a ciphers parameter to a specific bind line. Now you're probably wondering, once you've set up your HAProxy configuration, how do you know if you have the best setup? You can use SSL Labs SSL test to check a host name such as haproxy.com and get a report about how strong your ciphers are and whether this versions of SSL that you've chosen to support have made your site secure. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it or leave comments below. Thanks.